we are here at the Magic Johnson Theater to check out a blockbuster of a movie, Black Panther. As you see, the lines have been, I mean, around the block, in and out of the place, people waiting to get in, paid in several different ways. Some try to come in with cash in hand, and uh, a lot of sad faces were turned away because they were sold out for like a day, day and a half. Or two or three coming in groups is very difficult if you didn't pay for it in advance. The people are in the building, so let's see what it's all about, guys. Black Panther, the picture is in the house, and we had to give you feedback. This is Brother Herman Small. Stay tuned. I have seen gods fly. I've seen men build weapons that I couldn't even imagine. Uh huh. I've seen aliens drop from the sky. Yeah. But I have never seen anything like this. How much more are you hiding? Hold up. Let's go. go, go. Uh. We are home. My son, it is your time. Show me my respect and bow down. You get to decide what kind of king you are going to be. Don't freeze. I never freeze. The revolution will not be televised. Show me my respect. And bow down. We own ya. We own ya. We only getting started now. Cause we own ya. Just got to think they know me now. Cause we own ya. You and not my homie now. Cause we own ya. I waited my entire life for this. The world's gonna start over. I'm gonna burn it all. What happens now determines what happens to the rest of the world. You will not be able to stay home, brother. You will not be able to plug in, turn on, and pop out. What kind of forever? The revolution will not be televised. Let's have some fun. The revolution will be live. Peace and 
Black Power. We are here at the Magic Johnson Theater for a spectacle of major cultural significance. This is one of the first times that our excellence is being featured with the numbers. It's one of the biggest budgets for this kind of genre. So it's the uh, who's who's list of, of our top A-list talent. And some new talent that I'm hearing some really great things about. So we're gonna check with people and just uh, give you a look at what it means to be here in the black community to see what is seeming to be an iconic picture as it unfolds among us. Okay guys, I tell you, it's uh, time to go in. I've been trying to warn you, trying to prepare you, but now it's time to dive on in. We're gonna check out and just walk down the Hall of Fame, look at some of the pictures and go on in. So. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Why are you taking with you to Korea? Oh, Koye. And Nakia as well. You sure it's a good idea to take your ex on a mission? Yes. We'll be fine. Don't freeze. I never freeze. Tell me who's gonna save me from myself. Black Power folks, we're here uh, in the Mecca of Harlem, checking out a film that is really making a major impact. We got one of our brothers from the community, we're going to give his feedback. We just, what just started? What's going on? What's happening with this film? Black Panther Fever is on. No, it's definitely popping. Not only in Harlem, we went the whole five boroughs. I saw it two times, and I'm gonna see it again today at five o'clock. That's how much the message. Just like reading the book, you don't read the book one time, you read it over and get more and more out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a powerful message. Everybody should do it. See it. What happened back then is still going on now in a different format, more sophisticated, more trickery more everything. I will never have a round table where everybody see it, then we discuss how to do justice matters and move on to better our communities with our brothers and sisters for, for the future. Yes, and the symbology of our sisters, we gotta get our women in to see this. Women are portrayed, black women, our sisters, our daughters, our aunties, our mamas, are portrayed in a way that, you know, men have seen, our black men have seen them that way forever. But it's good they're finally acknowledging all of their just physical beauty, which is great, but just the discipline, the strength, Smart. and the balance, the balance. Right. They, they were strong, but still feminine. Right. They were all beautiful women. Right. But women that still had that had that that that, that strength about themselves that young girls are gonna look at these images and be inspired, I think. Oh, are you gonna bring any any female uh, members of your family? I'll bring my daughter tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if you know, every Tuesday is $5 for those who don't know. I didn't know. All right, but as black folks, you know, we can't wait to Tuesday. Exactly. We got to go see it now. Right. So I'm bringing my daughter, because my daughter don't like clouds, but me, I'm right. different. I'm a, yeah. I, came, I came from a different cross, you know exactly. what I'm saying? And also, he's a very generous guy. So on Monday, the first hundred people, he's going to get $500. <laughs> okay, yeah. You heard that laugh got real deep. You're like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> but no, 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 but that is factual. It is fine. Right. But, I mean, there's a way. If you gotta go when you gotta go, but this is something important. Right. So, what else would you advise them to as far as once they get here, what to prepare for? Just, just keep their mind open. All right, we all got information. And once you open your mind, you want to see. After you get past the action and the special effects and the high tech and all that, once you get past that, Keep your mind open for the message. The message is all through the movie. You just gotta keep your mind open up. And when you come out, back with your sisters, back with your family, your cousins, your aunts, and see what you're gonna come out of it and apply it to your daily lives to make your lives even better and strengthen the community. That's what it's all about. And 
Yeah. Thank you, good brother. And no, no, oh, right, right. Good. Okay, yeah, I, was, I was testing him. Uh, oh, our shades, oh, thank you. And our we got shade. some more stuff coming. Peace. Peace. That symbol is one of the symbols of greeting throughout the picture, and it's really taking hold. So again, we in the building. Here it is, Black Panther, sold out audiences all over the place. Magic Johnson Theater is actually using every theater to show this film. Talk about the significance of a black film, a Marvel comic here, and most importantly here in Harlem. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a role that was very interesting in its twists and turns, and, 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 and the importance of the cultural movement of, 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 of the people is, is so significant in that Marvel in itself, that was a way of expressing different interactions between human beings, comics. It was it was a superior, it was a superhero, it was these things that were implanted in the masses. So to leap off the pages and out onto the screen in another medium from the media, it's it's a leap of, of major proportions. And the kind of numbers we're talking, the kind of budget. So how, I mean, I was speaking to you off camera, Ronnie, and see, a lot of times people don't connect the dots, but a lot of these underground and grassroots festivals that was beating the drums, beating the drums, of culturally significant uh, material, when you all were just scraping up the monies and getting the first few sponsors. Now, folks are finally starting to realize, hey, these guys are serious and they need to be respected. So, but if you didn't have that kind of consistency and stick to it, this, you and your other comrades, there's others that was out there beating the drums, but they need a standing ovation because these days don't fall out the sky. Mm -hmm. The people that do write those checks, they number crunches. They're like, oh, mm, there's, there's a wave building. Look at this, look at that, ooh, look at these things. And as uh, I think a lot of times, especially in entrepreneurship, because it's his business, show business. The, the wiser and the more successful folks can see where a trend is going and also put things in place to benefit from it both ways, pushing the culture forward. And if you're a business person, I think having a level of benefit financially because of your insight and your willingness to move forward, positive images, I don't think you, you should be held to uh, to be criticized for that. If it's within reason, if there's a proportionate, you know, dissemination of the wealth, and if you don't want to make it entertainment socialism, then maybe a little bit of that stuff. But mm -hmm. yeah, I think that's how we got to this day, Veronica. We generally do not see black comic action figures or, you know, black uh, superheroes. Mm -hmm. And here we are today. Wakanda, a whole country or town, if you will. So talk about that, the fact, you just mentioned images, talk about the fact that this is an image for our young. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just throughout the whole picture. To, to, to think of, of the backdrop of, of film and, and, and the journey of film and our imagery in film, a lot of people uh, lost sight of what took place during that black exploitation era. Some was like, okay, it was us jumping into film. And, but no, that was another kind of way to shape and move us out of a perspective where there was a level of militancy. We were coming out, out of the 60s. You know, young men were having black bandanas on. They were standing and saluting, practicing drills. And, and young men were thinking and being spoken to about revolution. So, you know, hey, COINTELPRO and other institutes said, no, we can't make that the objectives of these young men. No, we needed Superfly. We needed uh, the Mac. We needed our men not to be militant and strong and trying to do right and, and have their community <laughs> defended. We wanted them out here to be hustlers and to have their women done and spoken to in ways that were not flattering. Now, jump ahead 50 years later, you know, with the rap dynamic, and not to go off on connecting the dots and how important the cultural movement of your people's thoughts and feelings are. So again, from there to rap, and rap came on. I mean, Queen Love, Queen, Queen, Queen uh, oh my goodness, I forgot her name. Queen Latifah, how can I forget that? She hasn't used it that way in, in, in many instances, but Unity and the raps that were coming up, Public Enemy, again, they, when there's that kind of raw infusion of, of thoughts that inspire and motivate people in many instances towards changing the ills in the society, the, not the larger society will say, hey, what can we do to divert? So, you know, we came to the gangster raps. And now it's not about unity and us coming together. It's about, you know, uh, what kind of ribs you got on your car, how much, how much dope you slay, or how many bodies you got. And this is the way to gain credibility, not as a warrior for your people, 
but almost as an agent of destruction in your own community as you benefit financially. Mm. So we did a full circle with that. But again, again, with many artists reaching back, they digging back. It's like you can only suppress this for so much. It's always oh, my, my father used to make this beautiful analogy. You know, my father loved natural hair, which broke off on me. I like some natural hair too. But he said all the processes, you know, our women do with that hair, you put enough water up on it and it's, it comes right back. It's like it's so powerful. Heat, chemicals, arr, arr, years and years. Leave it alone. Throw some water on. It's gonna be hair. Mm -hmm. Just like the walls back at Kemet, they're scrubbing it and defacing it and defacing it and putting layers and layers of other stuff on it. But as soon as that stuff falls away, you still see the essence of, of the original people. And that's, that's who we are. And, and movies like this help us embrace that in a way that uh, maybe I said, oh, that's a movie, man. Y'all getting all wrapped up. You know, Say It Loud, I'm Black and I'm Proud was a song. But it was something that grabbed, motivated, and inspired the people when they needed it. And in many instances, us as, as black people, my soldier here in the United States, we've had uh, traumatic experiences that are still a requirement of, of healing. You know, the black individual, all dark skin, the features, the nose, the lips, these things were characterized in a very negative way in a system that was based on white supremacy that was able to use those de degradations as the underpinning for their oppression under this system. So to have a film that missed elegance of blackness in a way that uh, I know I haven't seen in, in, in my adult years, and maybe we have to go really back in time, when we first stepped into the film under Brother, I believe, uh, I don't want to mispronounce his name, but we got some giants in the film industry that put out some quality stuff that was dealing with subjects that were meaningful to us. Do you think Disney or these filmmakers, or do they have a responsibility to give back to our community since they're going to be making so much money? I think yes. Now, uh, and that was I was a little not disturbed, but I, I thought his response was kind of interesting. Uh, the brother who, who played the main character, uh, he was uh, being interviewed on the show, and that news had gotten to him that there was a grassroots effort brought together where they were like, "Yo, step into some of the companies and saying, hey guys, y'all gonna do very lovely with this. Could you put a portion? I think the amount that was mentioned to him, I don't know exactly, was 25% of the proceeds. Now, he kind of laughed it off and said, no, I don't think it's gonna happen, which I, he has his opinion. And I don't know the dynamics of it also. Again, I said earlier, this is business. And does a company have to give above and beyond? And is that part of our mindset that we should always have to approach them from that perspective to give us after? I'm, I'm looking at the dynamics of it. Uh, but right now, the, the organization, I, 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 I am with them until I find out a little bit more of, about it. But I, I have heard word. Wow. That was a great movie. You got to get out to see it. Black Panther. And if you can, if you're in the NYC, get up to Magic Johnson Theater. Thanks for watching. Black Panther lives. I am ready. My heart don't skip a beat even when hard times bust the needle. We're here now, all these talks of Black Panthers. Let's give you a little history right. of what really seared those names in the in the minds of men. Please give us the history of the Black Panthers, good brother. First, what? your name and your history. Oh, right. Uh, my name is Tyreek. Uh, I am a Black Panther. Mm. Uh, I've been a Black Panther for like 50 years. Mm. So, um, as you know, the, the creator of the character, the Black Panther, uh, created that character in 1966. And it's very possible that he was influenced by the uh, Black Panther that exists in Lawrence County, Alabama. That may have influenced him, because that was around. And that's what influenced uh, uh, Huey Newton and Bobby Seale to adopt the symbol of the Black Panther. It actually came out of Lawrence County, Alabama. So yes, uh, I think that this movie, I haven't seen it. I've only seen the trailers. But the trailers have convinced me that the movie is over the top in terms of uh, the, the costumes, yes. the setting, mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, the performances, uh, and I think the dialogue is probably pretty good too, you know. 
Um, uh, so I'm thinking that uh, the movie, in terms of being a movie, it's, it's going to be over the top, an over the top experience for the viewer. So from that standpoint, I think it's, it's worth seeing. But I'm, I, I am concerned as a Black Panther that it's very possible that the authorities, the FBI, the CIA and them, may have green-lighted the movie because doing so would uh, allow us to see on screen what we want in reality, but we are not going to have. And also to have these, uh, the Black Panther movie and, and the characters, the heroes in the movie, to be available as heroes and their presence would eclipse the actual Black Panthers who are the real superheroes in this world. Because as you know, the members of the Black Panther Party, which was founded by Huey Newton and Bobby Seale, yes. and Huey Newton's birthday was on February 17th. Teach, uh, teach. This is the month of February. Uh, Huey Newton and, and Bobby Seale founded the Black Panther Party to bring about things that, uh, that I think we're gonna see in a movie. And so, but I think that, as I said, they have, they, they may have green-lighted the movie so that going forward, it would eclipse actually the real Black Panther Party. So we want to, we are out here today to let people know that there is a real Black Panther Party and there are real superheroes and the superheroes have fought to stop the ruling class, the super rich, from exploiting black people and from murdering black people. And for, for doing that, that makes them real superheroes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what do you think in terms of the name? Could it be black exploitation because they know we're going to come out and just using this name, knowing that we are going to gravitate, right. you know, because right. I feel there has to be a responsibility and obligation to give back to the community. Well, it should. They should give back to the community. Uh, they they have actually done a hell of a thing. As I said, their portrayal is to provide on screen what black people seriously hunger for: to see ourselves uh, as intelligent persons, to see ourselves as independent persons, and to see ourselves as decisive and fearless. So we hunger for that, and they are giving us that. But it's very. Uh, but I, I'm sure some of us feel that the money's made should some portion of it should go into uh, into the black community to help with different programs that are needed. You know? mm -hmm. so that is a consideration. You know? Is it easier now? And not saying that it wasn't then mm -hmm. for people to say, "Hey, Black Panther," so now they can connect and listen and hear and tell the story? Is it easier to tell that story now to the young people who aren't aware? Well, I think a lot of people are hearing about the Black Panthers uh, at, at this point, you know. As you know, uh, Sister Beyonce done her thing at the, uh, the stadium, uh, and that, that was watched by 111 million people. So I'm pretty sure a number of them were young people who saw that if they didn't know about the Black Panther, I think at that point they were introduced to the Black Panther if they hadn't know, known about it before. And uh, we have a brother who is a Black Panther who has made a movie. Uh, also, uh, Brother Jamal made a movie. So we have, uh, and then uh, Stanley Johnson did a thing on the Black Panther. So we have a number of movies coming out about the Black Panthers that are uh, going around in, in, in the circles of young people. And that is good for them to hear about the Black Panthers. And, uh, so, so we want to take this opportunity too to remind people that there is a real Black Panther uh, party and, and they should know about that and they want to look into that as much as looking into uh, the Marvel comics of Black Panther. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and if, just to chime in, yeah. it, see again how all this stuff comes full circle. Look at the dedication. And what did he? What did the first thing he say? He said, "I'm a, I'm a Panther for 50 years plus." Mm -hmm. And look at what he's doing now. He could easily have a ticket just to come and sit and enjoy it, but he's committing his time to educating the people about the history. So this is a kind of commitment of movement that these movies ultimately are being made about. These are the names that you know. You hear about the Martin Luther Kings and the, and the, the Malcolm X and the names on the top of the foot soldiers. That and their dedication is what pushed all of those movements forward.
Elijah Muhammad and all the other greats that came. So I just wanted to add that. And, and, and my father was a member of the African National Pioneer Movement, one of his comrades. And if we could just show what their greeting was on film, yes, each time a soldier met another soldier, it was. Yes, sir. And we just, it was just something I grew up seeing. And it was such an important to see a row of black men acknowledge another black man as their leader and their, so it was organization. So it's full circle, full circle. Thank you for your service. Right. And, and I appreciate you. And I want to say, I remember his father, Mr. Herman Small yes. Jr., yes, yes. Uh, senior. And we want to know, in terms of being a pioneer, the thing that they were pioneering and champion was the education of black people, and they were the leader in terms of bringing us back to being ourselves. Yes. That's what his father did, and I honor him, and I was, I'm very moved when I even think about him, you know, mm -hmm. because Thank you. Thank he, he contributed his whole life to helping out black people mm -hmm. in our terrible situation. That's what his father did. Uh, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. I say thank you. Yes, sir. And again, all of this history, continue to watch. We'll have great information. Peace. Tell me who's gonna save me from myself.